So I frankly, I don't think we're going to see anything like the numbers we see with the influenza around the world. But if we do, I think the most important thing is for people to practice the same precautions they do with influenza every year. So, so far we think there are about 75,000 cases around the world, of which approximately 2,000 fatalities. So 2,000 people have, have died from this virus. Almost all those have occurred in China itself, and over 90% of the cases have occurred in China. But we are now starting to see the epidemic shift, and we're starting to see more new cases, at least in those not from China, are coming from people that never traveled to China. And some of the important risk factors are we're seeing very few children go on to get sick with this virus. By sick, I mean getting admitted to the hospital. They may have a mild cold-like illness. And as you get older, you see exponentially higher rates of mortality and infectious diseases that lead to hospitalization. We're also seeing a lot of interesting trends in terms of who is at highest risk in terms of comorbidities. That means, do you have other medical problems? And certainly those who have problems like heart disease or lung disease or diabetes, which we've seen to be classic risk factors for other things like the flu, are having worse disease. It typically will start as a cough that's described as dry, and then shortly after, most people go on to get fever. Certainly for those who get to the hospital, almost 100% will have fever and dry cough, and then often similar symptoms to what we describe in the flu. So you'll have what we call myalgias or malaise, where you feel achy or tired. You may have some runny nose or sore throat. You may have a little bit of stomach problems as well. We do know historically, most of the time, coronaviruses spread as a cold-like virus through respiratory droplets. So that means when you sneeze or when you cough, small droplets in the air have the virus in it, and those are transmissible to you if you get them in contact with your mucous membranes, your eyes or your mouth, or if you breathe them into your lungs. You know, I feel like there's way more of a threat right now with influenza than there is with this virus. I think, truthfully, we will probably have 10 to 100-fold more people die of flu this year than we'll have die of coronavirus in America.